Welcome to this October 20th meeting of Classic Cars and Coffee at the University of Western Australia. built this little rocket ship. Now the reason I know it's a rocket ship is because I've driven it and it is one of the most exciting little cars you could imagine. Sean, you built the whole thing from scratch and, and, I, and I believe it happened because you were reading a magazine on a beach, is that right? Uh, we were on holiday in Cornwall and this was in a barn. It was a farm conversion that had cottages that we could stay in. Um, and once I'd read this MG magazine, I realised that all the parts are available for this car. You can buy every last nut, bolt and washer. And I just thought, I've got time. I was a firefighter, I had a lot of spare time. So I just thought it would be an interesting hobby to do. And it took me about three years. Basically, we had a cleaner that cleaned at the house. And I figured that if I did the cleaning once a week, I can spend the cleaning money on my car. So this was built on my 30 pounds a week cleaning money, basically, uh, which went well until it was like the hood and interior. That's when it started to get quite expensive. So, Johnny, this was a, like a rusted out wreck this, this of a car. Properly rusted. I've changed the inner and outer sills, the wings, the inner wings, the footwells. Wow, um, so this, that's a major, panel. yeah, it just went on. A major structural uh, restoration. The other thing too, is, now this is a five-speed, you put a five-speed box in it. I did, yeah. What, what's that from? Basically, the Morris Minor Company in England came up with a Ford Type 9 five-speed conversion. Okay. So it's a Ford Sierra gearbox. I was a firefighter and we had a Ford Sierra to cut up for practicing road crash yeah. rescue. So I turned it over and took the gearbox out. And, and, and this is a very, very modified engine. It's running a, what, a 40 mil Weber? 45 mil Weber on how many cc's? Um, it's bought out to 1380. 1380, so, so that started like, what, 1275? It started at 1275, yeah. Okay, and so you've balanced it and light the flywheel, all those Everything types of things? We've shaved all the metal off the crank, so the crank's all wedged and knife edged yes. and tuck dried. Big valve head, uh, rim floor valves, wow. eyelid cam, roller rockers. As a as a measure of its performance, what will it do over, say, 400 meters? Well, a quarter of a mile is 15.5 seconds. 15.90 90 miles an hour. That's honking so, for a little car like this. It, it's, it's fast for any car, really. It, it's when you look at things like you'll see the big Corvettes yes. and things here. And they're no quicker of a quarter mile than mine little Absolutely. 1300 that I built in a single garage. What does it weigh? It's about 650 kilos. What do you love about it? Getting out of it. <laughs> <laughs> not having to drive it anymore. Sean, <laughs> you're a jam. Thanks so much. Classic Cars and Coffee, University of Western Australia. And thank you so much, Sean. Thank you. Cheers, buddy.